Hi and welcome. In this video my top 5 tips for anyone visiting Mallorca. 5 tips that will save you both time and money and that are based on my 15 years of working here with tourists in Spain. More and more people are visiting Mallorca on an all-inclusive packaged holiday. And that's great, but what many people don't realize is that it would be much cheaper to book your all-inclusive once you arrive in the hotel. Booking your all-inclusive at the hotel reception will not only save you on average about 20%, but it will also allow you not to have to pay full price for the first and the last day of your holiday. Days you will be mostly traveling and not in the hotel. So instead of paying this, you will be paying this. Doing it like this will also allow you to book by the day. So if you're gonna spend the day outside of the hotel because you're gonna go on an excursion or you wanna go to the beach or you wanna go out to dinner, this day you will not be wasting any money on all-inclusive. Also like this, you will have the possibility to taste the food, see what's on offer before committing to it for an entire week. If you're looking for your own flights to Mallorca, it is easy. Mallorca only has one airport, so you really can't go wrong. However, most people come here on a packaged holiday. For them, all you need to know is that it will take you one and a half, up to six hours to make it to your hotel. This depends where you're gonna be staying on the island. If that takes too long for you, you can always take a taxi. It will cost a little bit more, but it will get you there much faster. You can reach anywhere on the island, normally in under an hour. So what are your options if you're not traveling on a package holiday? Well, one option would be to take a taxi, but do note that prices announced at the airport are only estimates. These will only go up due to recent roadworks and traffic jams around Palma. Well, another option would be to take a public bus, but do know that the only direct buses go to Playa de Palma and El Arnal. Any other resort, you will have to go to Palma transfer your luggage onto another bus and go with the second bus from there to your resort. This might cause you a lot of stress and hassle, so I would definitely not advise it as the start of your holiday. And even then, a dedicated resort shuttle will be cheaper. You will not have to transfer, you just get on at the airport and drive to your resort. Be aware that resort shuttles cannot be booked in the airport, so be ready and book in advance. The same goes for taxis. If you want to take a taxi, then please also book in advance. It will avoid you from having to stand in queues and also give you the benefit of having a cheaper locked-in rate. If you want to book a taxi or a resort shuttle, there is a multitude of websites out there that will allow you to do so. Most of them actually will have the same prices, the same transfer times and the same buses. They are just a booking agent. The big difference in it is how they treat you afterwards. I like to advise you first transfers.com because they treat you very well. They send you an email explaining you for every destination that you might be visiting, in this case Mallorca specifically, they will send you an email email how, what, when and where. And not only this, they will send you a text at the beginning and the ending of your holiday also telling you who and where you will be picked up by. If you want to go on an excursion on Mallorca, there is some simple things to keep in mind. Well, they might sound simple, but year after year after year, I see people making the same mistakes. 
First of all, if you're gonna book an excursion, book it only through people you know and trust. No matter how good the deal might be, never book it from a flyer you find on the street or people you've randomly met. Yes, in most cases you will be going in an excursion, you will be doing something fun, but also keep in mind that half of the day you will be watching some type of presentation where they will try to sell you something. Another thing that is important to know, if you're gonna go on an excursion and you are four or five people, in most cases you are better off booking the tickets yourself and renting a car. Like this, you have your own time schedule and things are easy to find on Mallorca. The island is not so big. Use your phone, use some type of navigation app and you will easily drive there, beating all the queues and all the buses that will arrive there at the same time. Last but not least, there are a lot of excursions on Mallorca. There is really a lot to do. But which one is right for you? Well, this depends on what you actually prefer. So I have a video on this. If you want to check that one out later, I put a link here in the card section and you can see independently advised which one you should take. Before I move on to my last tip, I quickly have to do a sneaky one. Over the many years I've been working here in Mallorca, I found out time and time again that when people have a bad holiday or something did not go quite as expected, it's simply because they have been given the wrong information. And why is this? Well, simply because most of the information out there is made to sell you something, sell you a specific hotel or sell you a specific excursion. It's all about sales. That's why I would very much like you to subscribe to my channel where I give independent advice on excursions, destinations, hotels and many more things. Why do I do this? Well simply because I believe that when someone works an entire year for their holiday they should be able to come to Mallorca and have an excellent one. A lot of people still think of Mallorca as one big island, one big Mallorca that is all the same. And it's absolutely not true because we have so much variety, over 40 different resorts that are all uniquely different. We have resorts like Alcudia which is a big melting pot with a very nice beach and very specifically for people with young children. Then we have the resort like Pienza, which are more for couples who like to have a nice, relaxed, quiet holiday. Then we have El Arnal, which are for people from Germany who like to party. Then we have Magaluf, which are more aimed towards party people from England and also Scandinavia. Then we have Calamior, which is a basic family resort. Then we also have Calavijara, which is a bit of a mix of the both. It's party and it's also for families and it's mostly for German people. But of course, all these resorts, everyone else will also be welcome. It is not because it is aimed at a specific type of person that you have to be that type of person to go there. So please, very importantly, if you book a last minute holiday or a special offer, know where you're gonna go. Because I have seen time and time again People who wanted to party end up in a resort where there is absolutely nothing to do in the evening. And people who are traveling with kids end up in a resort that is extremely loud. So to avoid this, look a little bit on the internet, have a look at your resort and where you are actually going. All there is left for me to do is to wish you a great holiday in Mallorca. I hope you truly very much enjoy it. And please check out also the rest of my videos to get more information.